ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Anthem video. It's Stardust Mustache here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the strongest Ice Storm build. So let's start by the seals. Here on the Blast Seal slot, we're using the Winter's Red, which is an upgraded version of the Ice Storm. It has a special effect that defeating enemies from above refuse charges, and it can occur once every 10 seconds. Now, we don't have the best inscriptions on this one, but we do have the plus 23 damage increase for the R1 seal, which is gonna be really, really good for the build. Now for the focus seal slot, we're using the Black Ice, which is an upgraded version of the Glacial Spear. Now, defeating an enemy with this skill right here freezes others nearby. This is gonna be especially useful if you're planning to do crowd control in your squad, because whenever you use your Winter's Wrath on an enemy, it's gonna freeze, and then if you use Black Ice on this enemy, it's gonna combo and it's gonna freeze again enemies nearby. And if you manage to kill an enemy with the Black Ice, it's gonna also freeze enemies nearby. So you can keep enemies frozen all of the time with both those skills, which is really, really nice. Now, you can see one of the inscriptions we got here uh, is very good, which is plus 125% damage increase for this uh, gear, which is actually really good. So now let's jump to the weapons. Uh, for the first weapon, we're using the Avenging Herald, which is one of the best weapons for the storm, because it has a special effect that while hovering, it increases weapon damage by 200%. And this one right here actually has inscription that increases physical damage by also 100%. So yeah, this Avenging Herald right here is going to do an insane amount of damage per shot, especially with one of the components that we're using for this build that I'm going to show you guys right after. Now for the second weapon, we're using the Radiant Fortress, which is a shotgun that has a very special effect that's going to help us uh, regenerate our shields faster. And which is hitting eight shots in a single burst, which are just shields by 35%. So whenever your shield starts dropping, you just swap to this weapon. And if you shoot an enemy and uh, more than uh, eight or more shots uh, hit it in the single burst, you're gonna recharge 35% of your shield every single time. So this is really good for recovering shields. And I also got some really good inscriptions in this one. You can see we have a total of plus 110% maximum shield and plus 15% gear damage. So yeah, this one gonna help us tank a lot. So now for the components, we're using the Mark of Wrath, which increases gear damage by 50% and lowers gear recharge rate by minus 20%. And it has a special effect that while R1 recharges, L1 damage increases by 50% for 5 seconds. Now, for the second one, we're using Gunslinger's Mark, which increases gear recharge rate by 50% and lowers gear damage by minus 20%. Also, it has a special effect that hover increases all weak point damage by 0%. Yeah, actually this one was nerfed because it was stacking in indefinitely, enabling players to actually one-shot anything in the game. So yeah, for now we have the plus 0% uh, bonus for the weak point damage. And I believe they are, they are going to fix it soon, but this effect is not working right now. What is important here is that, is that if you use both of those components together, you're gonna get both a plus 30% gear recharge rate and plus 30% gear damage, which is really good. Now for the third component, we're using the token of daring, which increases elemental damage by 35% and decreases physical damage by minus 35%. Also, it has a special effect that a shield break increases seal damage by 20% for 20 seconds, which is really good also. Now for the fourth component, we're using the token of the pupil, which will increase the number of combo chains by two. Now it has a special effect that, increase, uh, that hitting an enemy with an L1 increases R1 damage by 60% for five seconds. So whenever you freeze an enemy using your Winter's Wrath, you can actually use your Black Ice uh, right after with a uh, buff of 60% of damage for 5 seconds. That's pretty good. Now for the fifth uh, component, we use the Mark of Ruin, which increases fire damage by 5% and fire effect by 5%. Of course, we're not using any fire damaging skills, but this one has a special effect that is really good, which while L1 recharges, R1 damage increases by 20% for 20 seconds. So whenever you deplete your charges for your Winter's Wrath, your Black Eyes will actually increase your, uh, in damage by 20% for 20 seconds, which is really good and gonna help a lot for this build. 
<clears throat> and for the last component we're using the Amulet of Winter, which will increase the ice damage by 5% and the ice effects by 5%. And it has a special effect that applying ice effects increases weapon damage by 40% for 20 seconds. Now that's really good uh, paired with the Avenging Herald, because whenever you actually freeze an enemy, you can actually switch to your Avenging Herald and it's gonna receive this 40% damage buff for 20 seconds. This is going to be really helpful for boss fights and for depleting high health uh, enemies. It's gonna be really, really strong. So I highly suggest you guys try this out because this is really, really nice. Now, one thing that's worth noting is that actually right now, uh, the Mark of Ruin and the Amulet of Winters are actually glitched and the effects of each other are actually switched out. So actually right now the Mark of Ruin is given the Amulet of Winter special effect and the Amulet of Winter is given the Mark of Ruin special effect. But don't worry because whenever they fix this, your build will not change at all because you, uh, right here we're using both of the marks for their uh, special effects. So it doesn't matter uh, which one's given uh, which effect because you're always gonna get both of the effects at the same time. So okay guys, uh, for the support seals we're using uh, wind wall because it's very helpful for recharging shields and for protecting from one shots like uh, snipers and things like that while you're trying to uh, repair your uh, falling allies. And this one right here has a uh, plus 20% speed on the R1 which is going to help a lot keeping your Glacial uh, Spear or the Black Ice uh, on, uh, off cooldown more often, so you can actually use it more often. So I highly suggest you try to get one uh, support seal with this uh, particular inscription, which is not that hard because you can actually craft this, and it does not require a lot of materials, so I'm pretty sure you can craft this one uh, without a lot of effort. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration in a free play so I can actually see the full power of this build. So thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed the videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more and videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!